Hey guys, Rob here, and I'm going to show you how to do a hard reset on the Samsung Admire. What you're going to have to do right here on the left side of the phone where the volume toggle switch up and down is, you're going to have to hold the volume down, then the back key at the bottom of the phone, and press the power at the same time. So back key, volume down, power. Once you see the Samsung uh, symbol come up on the screen, you're going to let go of the power, but you're going to keep on holding on to the back key and the volume down. And here's what you get. The different options, and you're going to go down to wipe data factory reset, which is the third option down, and then you're going to press the home key right here at the bottom to select it. And then you're going to use your volume down key again to where it says yes, delete all data user, user data I should say, and then press the home key again. And then you are wiping your phone. Uh, it's gonna come up with this screen. It says reboot system now. Again, hit the home button and your phone is completely wiped. Now this is um, uh, what you're gonna need to do if let's say, um, your phone's acting up and you it's frozen on a particular screen and you pull the battery and you're trying to reboot the system like a hard refresh. It can also be used if you set up a PIN number uh, password and you forgot what that PIN number was or somebody else got a hold of your phone and was trying to use that PIN number. And also if you use the pattern lock and somebody was messing with it or if you did the wrong pattern too many times and the phone uh, has locked you out, you're gonna be able to do it for that as well. Um, you can also do it if you know your um, your Gmail username and password, but a lot of times people set up their Gmail account just to use the Google Play Store and they forget what their username and password is. So this is ju just a way that you can completely reset your phone. Um, make sure that you always have your contacts backed up onto your SD card before you do anything like this. And I always pull the SD card out of the phone before I do a factory day to reset just because I don't want anything on the card to be affected. I will show you guys how you can back up your contacts onto um, your micro SD uh, card as well. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.